What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with another 12-12 siege for you. Not done one of these in a little while, and here we are looking at some Pavis of uh, Pavis crossbows from the county of Flanders, defending against the uh, Quasmarian Empire. They also have on their side, um, do Flanders, the Electorate of Trier, and also they are facing off against the, well, these are supposed to be the Byzantine Empire, but they are the Empire of Nicaea, the true inheritors, uh, or of um, the Byzantine Empire and they want their land back you could say but th this is somewhere in Germany so it doesn't really mean anything to them this fight but uh, anyway it's a 2v2 um, I'm playing with a fellow youtuber Joe on it you may have heard of him um, and I'm sure if some of you are aware of him if not go and check out his channel I'll leave a link in the description and at the end of the video um, but yes yeah, so we are playing in a little 2v2 here um, just organized and yes, yeah, so we are already under heavy fire from a great bombard and a mortar. We're taking some casualties here. We're pulling back because the gate's on fire. So there's no point in holding this. This is against the rules. He was only supposed to bring one artillery and only four archers. But he's brought a heck of a lot of dismounted Savaran, which are like the, the, the Noka guard for the Ottoman Turks. They've got, art, they've got bows and they have swords. So unfortunately, um, I did say but um, they'd broken the rules, but... We'll, we'll go on with it. We'll deal with it. Um, it does give him advantages in range, but disadvantages in melee, potentially. But the Byzantines have got one piece of artillery as well, a great bombard. Um, and they brought their quota of archers, I think. I don't even think they brought that many. They brought two units. They brought very few. They brought a lot of cav for a, uh, for a siege. We did also bring some cav of our, of our own. We did bring some Flemish knights and some Elector knights. They're going to try and sneak around because we saw he brought lots of artillery. And uh, we thought, well, that needs to be got rid of. And we also do have war elephants on the map. The uh, Quasmarians do have elephants in their uh, in their army. And I know I'm probably pronouncing that name wrong, but oh well. This one's bloodied up. Maybe it got hit by artillery for theirs or ours. We did have some wall-mounted artillery here very short uh, for a small amount of time. But it did get destroyed. So anyway, we're going to watch um, as these two forces try and take the settlement for us. The capture point is up here and is... Uh, Pretty well defended. There's only two choke points, and we have plenty of troops and plenty of archers or crossbows that we can defend it with. And we have a nice kill zone down here, and that we will, I'm sure we will have to use at some point. But we are, well, we actually outnumbered them, or did outnumber them. We are uh, now in a deficit of about five. But we did outnumber them, which is a bit worrying as the attackers that um, you are outnumbered. But they, the balance power does make it seem that they have a lot more quality, and they do. Um, and I'm sure the War Elephant is also probably a large quota of that balance of power because... Which is strange because it's a siege and they shouldn't really. But the walls have been breached. And we uh, decided to flee because there's no need to... There's no point defending here. And there you go. The man just told you, if you didn't know, the walls have been breached. And already the first troops are onto the walls. Some pole arms for the Quas Quasmarians. I'm probably just going to call them the Turks or something like that. Because they are a Turkic faction. Um, because these names are ridiculous. <laughs> I'm definitely not going to be able to pronounce them. Um, but, I mean, these guys look really cool. We've not seen them before on the uh, on the channel. They look really good. I was debating about doing a uh, Let's Play as them at one point, but never really got around to it. I may still do one. But um, the options are up on the Discord um, for, the next, uh, for the next Let's Play that I will be doing. So if you haven't gone and voted, go and check out the Discord um, and go and vote. And also, it's a place then you can uh, chat with other members of the of the Papal Legion and organize some battles like this one, for instance. Or you can send in replays. But um, so the cavalry charged through here. We just missed it. Cavalry just charged through and they all died um, to oil. So that's uh, a bit of a shame. But we do have some uh, troops now getting up. We have some pole arms. These are Brotherhood of St. George's uh, Godin Dags. Godin Dags. I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong. They look really cool. I mean,. St. George. Oh, nice little charge there by the remains of the carry, but I mean, Interpol arms are going to die. But I mean, didn't think St. George was uh, really, like, celebrated by anyone but um, England. I know it's actually, is the state, uh, the saint of um, St. Petersburg as well. Or Leningrad, whatever you prefer. Uh, if you're a, just a communist, I guess. But, um, <laughs> or just love Soviet Russia and you want to call it that. But anyway, um, they are getting uh, beaten to the hell out of I mean, I'm going to pull these guys back and um, we're going to put some levy swords here from Trier 
to suck up the fire because, I mean, these guys are worth a lot less than uh, those guys. They're very, very elite. So, well, they're some of my most elite troops anyway, and I want to keep these pole arms for late game. I put them there solely out of... Jeez, that was a huge hole put in that. I don't think many of them are getting up. That's probably the mortar, but yeah. So these poor militia have got to hold off against some pole arms of their own. The only reason I put those pole arms in there is to match theirs. Um... Bit, uh, well, I'm going to probably call him Pyzantium accidentally, but nice here. Take a bit more slowly. Um, just burning watchtowers at the moment uh, with archers. And he's not taking any casualties so far. He's been very smart. Put some spear infantry here to kind of block the uh, fire arrows coming through. And yeah, that's kind of smart actually. Kind of a good tactic. Something to remember. But um, it looks like the first clash of infantry is about to begin. It's going to be those pole arms going in against those militia... Um, those militia swords, sorry. Um, but I am actually getting harassed so much. Look at this. This was a great bombard hit. We missed it. But look at that. How many guys it takes out. This unit's already down to 80. And they're not even going to fight. So we're actually uh, losing quite a lot of men now. And these Savaran archers are insane. They're tier 3. Um, but they are insane. I think these guys are worse than the Noka foot guards um, when we get to it. But these guys can fire 250 in range. And, um, well, we can only fire 150 with our crossbows. So we're massively outmatched in range. So we're going to have to close that gap somehow. So it is actually moving us towards defending here. Um, really. But, so, something that I will just say about the Savaran Archers now while this fight's going on. Um, is that I think that they need to be, certainly units like that need to be nerfed in some way. And possibly in having half ammo. Because they have the same amount of ammo as, um... A crossbow unit does. At the, like they have, I think it's 30 ammunition or something like that. A crossbow unit has, and they have the same. Do Savaran archers or just any arch like that? Any archer sword unit. They need to have half ammo, and maybe if they're going to keep the range, the range is possibly fine, but they've got to have half the ammunition. Because otherwise, those guys are insane. Or you've got to certainly really seriously weaken them in their melee capability, because they are insane. Or, it's either that, or you've got to limit the amount that you can bring to a battle, like, to a, because, he's got, I think, seven, I think he has, I'm not sure, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, certainly, maybe more, but certainly six, that is insane, like, that you can bring that many, I mean, I'm, you could probably have brought a whole army, I'm sure, but these guys are ridiculously good. I know I'm complaining, and uh, because I haven't got them on my side, and I would also probably do the same. I'd probably bring a lot of them if there wasn't, if you wasn't told to bring f just four, then uh, I would have also probably brought a lot myself. But um, he was told to bring four. In fairness, we are now shooting some of uh, these pole arms with our crossbows. I'm trying to get these crossbows here to actually get in some sort of formation so I can shoot these. Um, these guys in the back because they're really really annoying me, but look at that more, more mortar hits Just coming out of nowhere and blowing like huge holes in our wall in our line I've got some spears here trying to hold some Brab Brazonian spears Brab Brabzonian, oh, I can't pronounce it. It's Brabant basically Brabant spears, but we're sending he's sending back in those uh, John it's sending back in those uh, sword levy and look at this. He's just trying to push through what a hit that was there Wow insane these guys here, just like getting blown to pieces. I mean, he's definitely doing damage to his own men, which that's fine. He can kill some of his own men as well. These are cheap units. He's sending in some pretty pricey pole arms and uh, archers, so I'm fine with him doing this. This was the whole point, was to send up really cheap stuff, hold them back. They can use all their ammo, like they are now. They're using a lot of ammo just to try and kill about three or four units of really just crap. Like these guys going in for the third time. They're like, oh, good God, we've been sent in. And, I mean, well done to these spearmen here. They're actually holding quite well. I actually rate the spear unit. It's, like, very, very cheap. It's about four, 400 coins, but give it a few chevrons. They'll hold. Allowing you to do a lot of damage elsewhere, certainly in a battlefield. And also in sieges. Like, they're doing a lot of damage with these guys. I do rate them. So there you go. For anyone that's uh, new to 1212, try these guys out. These uh, Brazo... Uh, I can't. There you go. There's the HUD. You can. There you go. You can read their name. But we do have a cavalry charge now. They've managed to. Uh, Byzantium or Nicaea has uh, landed, and he is now sending stuff round here. He's got some cavs, some attacking elector archers, and some elector pavies. 
And, uh, yeah, this is going to be a bit of a problem. I mean, they shouldn't be staying in combat too long. It's great to see that they're uh, rushing in. It's because it does, I mean, they can get this choke point. Because I was, these are where the uh, Pavis were going. The Pavis were going to defend this choke point. But um, they won't be able to do so. And the cavalry is losing. And it's uh, lost a few men from it. But And now they're going to just surround these poor spears, probably. Or no. Or they're going to go for these crossbows. No, the archers, sorry. My uh, crossbow's long ago left. I mean, they're getting still. Look at this! They're getting shot from all the way out here to the top of this hill. That is ridiculous. Like, I was just trying to position some nice crossbows up here, shoot down on these ones. But no, the ones back here can fire some nuclear missiles. But we have cavalry moving up. And here we go. So we're going to have um, the Elect Knights charge in with their pink, the lovely pink, go in. And they're going to get some nice kills on these Savarians, possibly. I mean, maybe. I'm not sure. Who knows? Who knows? They got certainly some kills. How many, they killed about, yeah, 40 of these guys. Like, that's pretty good. But, I mean, he does have some uh, Muktas now going in. I've gone for the Bombard back here with uh, my Flemish Knights just to get rid of some artillery so we've not got so much of a problem. Um, but it looks like the general, what's he called? A Cephas? I don't know. He's a general unit. The general unit's gone in. And he seems pretty damn good. These are the very cheap, the cheapest of the cheap cavalry. So, we're just going to see what happens with these guys. I think I think we've routed the, um, yeah, we've routed the artillery, which is great. And it's kind of mission of success. I really wanted to get the mortar, but the mortar is well and truly, like, inside the lines. Of, uh, but yeah, they have really taken this courtyard now. They are going hard, and I am having to sacrifice some uh, some pavis so the rest of all these units can get back all these dismounted elector guards this, um, and elector knights. But I mean, yeah, these poor pavis and look at them. They're having to like they're going to get overwhelmed. I mean, they're getting shot to pieces by. Uh, I mean, they're shooting to pieces these uh, pole arms, but the pole arms are just going to go on by. It seems like nothing's occurring. Don't mind us, it's not like there's a whole line here of Pavis trying to hold the line. I mean, they should be able to hold this for a little while. They are, they are Pavis. Don't, have they even lost a unit yet? Yeah, they lost a few, but they're killing quite a lot of these uh, medium spears. But yeah, they've well and truly taken this area. So we're already 19 minutes to go, and we're down 500 men. They have still got artillery. They've still got lots and lots of archers. I mean, some of them will use a lot of ammo, but I mean, Byzantium's still got a lot of ammo. So they outgun us just about anything. Actually, quite a lot of these Savaran archers still have a lot of ammo. And yet, the elephants have been mobilized to route this cav. Um, clearly, clearly, all this cav that was in here wasn't enough. They sent in just about all their cav that they had left, plus elephants, just to route these Flemish knights. Poor guys. Look at them with their broadswords, chopping away, just trying to get some kills. Try to get out of there now. Fight to the death, men. There's no greater glory than dying for the county of Flanders. Fight for the black lion on your shield. I mean, yeah, these elephants are just ripping to shreds. And there you go, they're gone. I think that's them fleeing. Yeah. They did okay. I don't know how many kills they got. Probably not many. Um, probably just the crew, the arch crew, not, uh, not the arch crew, the uh, artillery crew, that's probably it. But yeah, these Pavis now are being surrounded. Um, this is, well, Nicaea coming in. Um, and he's just surrounding these poor Pavis. And they're, I'm surprised they've held this long being surrounded. Pavis, uh, I thought, were like, as soon as they're surrounded, um, unless they're in their shield formation, they usually break quite quickly. One of those units that doesn't like being surrounded. I mean, no unit likes being surrounded, but I think they hate it even more. I mean, they're shooting all sorts over here. I mean, this artillery piece, I was like, oh yes, I'm, because you can't you can't choose where they go if you want to get a really play to work. But it's facing the wrong way, and it's just randomly firing out there for some reason. I don't know what happened. It's just broken. And I was like, no, we could do with this artillery. Look at all this stuff down here. Even, like, all this ammo we could have used on just killing these guys. Because so I set it to fire ammo, and it wasn't doing anything, but yeah, mortars now. We've got everything ready. We've got a, this is a good line. Swiss pikemen, Elector Pavis, all ready. But they're just going to shell us. They're just going to shell us. The cowards. They're not going to even send the the Savar the Savaran archers going to stand there and just get shot. Um, but yeah, Joe on it decided he's had enough. He's going to send. He's not going to just get stood there. He's going to send out some Elector Pavis. 
And he's going to put the, engage these guys. And that's probably the smart move. Don't let these guys just get shot. I mean, these poor pikemen uh, really should have should have got moved because they're just getting shot to pieces. Yeah, what a key unit that would have been. But I mean, we've got the other side. Um, for, well, well defended as well. Lots of stuff getting ready over here. I have um, lots more pavies mobilized. I mean, I'm not quite sure what's happened to the formation, but you should be in formation. But yes, so we are dealing with it. But loads of archers like shooting in now. Um, so these are like I, these elect pavies have barely killed any of these guys as well. We were like me and Joe on it were like, what are we gonna do against these Savaran? They've lost six men. They've actually killed more pavis than the, which is an actual, like, spear unit that's actually good in combat against a bow unit, a medium bow unit. They've lost seven men. Yes, in fairness, the Alex pavis are slightly beaten up from being shot. I mean, they shouldn't be. They have huge spear, uh, shoot, huge shields. So they should be able to defend any arrows. But, I mean, they can, look at this. They can still fire while in combat. This is ridiculous. This is something that shouldn't be allowed. Or if it is, they should be on half ammo. So if you're going to use this ammo while being in combat, that's fine. But you're, you've got very little ammo. Something that I think the creators really need to think about. Like, just a, just a thought. Because, like, these Savarans are just a OP. Like, the guy who did, the, who did this faction clearly liked uh, Quasimarians. But here we go. Um, it looks like some... Some heavy swords. No, Anglo Varangoi. It's like English Varangians or something like that. A heavy shock, anyway, for Byzantium or Nicaea coming in. They've got a mix of swords and like axes, and they're going to chop these guys down. And uh, yeah, that's kind of it. I what are we sent up here. We sent up some more Electonites, just to, because these pikes again. Like there's 49 of them left. Look, all these Savarans. Every single Savaran, I think, is focused on killing these pikes. Which is fine, because I think one unit of Savara would have broke all these guys, but I mean, they're just making an overkill, so they are wasting ammo. Which we are begging that they run out of ammo soon, but... They're not, they're not. They're, look, they're shooting down their general, this, uh, Joe on its general now, um, Trier's general. And I was like, just get it out of there, just, just, man, get your general, like, back here to where mine is, because I think this is the only spot that, the gen like, you are possibly safe. Because the Savarans are all over here. I think they... They could, in theory, reach anywhere with everything that they have. They have mortars. They have Savaran archers. They could actually reach anywhere on this little platform up here and kill it if they wanted to. And they're going to. They're going to sit back and they're going to shoot us. Um, or so it seems, anyway. I mean, look, those poor pavies have just been murdered. Um, it looks like more... Uh, heavy swords coming up here for some reason. There's nothing left. It is bizarre. But we are starting just to shoot, like, the spears down here. If they're going to stand here, then uh, they're going to get shot by crossbows. Uh, I need to get more crossbows up on the wall. Like, these guys back here are doing nothing. But they, we're running out of room, really, on the walls to fit anything. But, um, I have, I think we are about to change some stuff. Like, you can see the general's going back. Pike's going back. Just getting everything out of that Savaran Archer's way. Like, they can't get it. Like, if he was smart, he would have put some over here as well, possibly. And just start, like, if you put them down here. I don't think we could reach them down here. Um, and we're just going to... And you could have shot at anyone. But he's focused everything over here. And he's just going to make a grand battery of Savaran Archers. Like, this is insane. And But he has engaged. He has engaged. These pikes have engaged. Um, or are engaging some heavy swords for a little while, but they're going to pull back again and these Savaran Arch is going to go and stand there and they're going to get shoot these pikes and swords. It's really sad to see. Um, it happened, really. I mean, what's the balance of power looking like? Yeah, we're 700 behind, 12 minutes to go. Uh, this is not looking good, but it looks like some Savaran Arch is going to get sent in. They've run out of ammo, finally. And uh, they're going to go in and fight these pikes. But, I mean, there's still loads of them back here. Look at these guys. Look at them. They're just all there. I mean, these poor, these poor Elector Knights. It's like, what do we do? Just what do we do? Um, it's ridiculous. But, I mean, these pikes should hold... Like, they are sort of merged in with the swords. Should be able to hold them a bit. Um, but, I mean, it doesn't seem so. They're still going to get shot to pieces. These arch towers are going to be needed. 
They're going to need to, like, just... For every shot that they get, they're going to need to kill someone. It's going to be ridiculous. But look at all these guys. Savar and Arch just queuing up. And they're... I mean, they are probably shooting some of their own guys now. Because the angle's not quite right for them. I mean, let's see. Let's see from their point of view. Savar and Arch just... Yeah, if they engage these guys right at the top, they are going to shoot some of their own guys in the back. So that's fine. Um... But yeah, the pikes are breaking. Pikes are gone. It's down to uh, down to the swords, but I'm sending up some Brotherhood of St. George. They are going to be praying to St. George that they can hold this breach because, good God, there's a lot of guys to, like, kill. Look at all this. All those down here that they're going to have to fight. I mean, we are breaking some spears with crossbows, but, I mean, it's just a few spears. It's not the end of the world. They've got so many more. So much better stuff as well. I mean, they could be quite key for fighting our spears. But, um... But yeah, it's not great. But here we go. A little march up here. Looks like Byzantium's not going to play the... I mean, he's not got as many archers to be a bit of a coward and shoot. But, I mean, it's a cheesy way to play. It's... I can't call him a coward. It's a, it's a cheesy way to play. It's an effective way of playing um, as that faction, I guess. But, um... It is annoying. Just play... Just waiting. Um, but then also, we're, make, we're being annoying and standing in a choke point. So, I guess... We've got to pay the price for uh, signing in a choke point. And there you go, they're going to pull back. They've had enough. They don't like engaging those uh, those puppies, but they're going to send up someone else. And, oh, what is this unit? This looks like Drazina, but it's not. It's Spartha. Some guards. He's sending in guards before his like, more medium stuff. I would have sent the guards in last. Like the last throw of the dice. But I mean, they look really cool. Look at that officer's cape, man. That's sexy as hell. Oh. With two eagles on the back. That is lovely. I mean, that's a bit like Trebizond's like, emblem a bit. But we have some pole arms are being sent in over here. Which is probably to deal with our pole arms that we sent in. But they're really bloodied up. Look at it, like the amount of blood. And they're, they're trying to push through. He's trying to force them through. Um, which I'm not a fan of, really. I mean, what's the else got? Oh, this is all the Byzantium heavy shot. But, yeah, I don't like it when people try to force this stuff through breaches. It's not... It's not a... Uh, it's a bit cheesy. That's another cheesy thing you can do. And it's kind of cheating because, like, we, we've got a solid block of infantry here. Blocking this. And they're, they're pole arms and swords. This is like a shield wall. They're trying to just force it, them through. I mean, it, it does mean they lose a lot more men. But it does eventually mean that they can just surround our formation and just make this choke point null and void. Um, but it doesn't seem to be working as of yet. But now, I gave the order to Joe on it... Uh, Joe, I was like, Joe, please just focus down this Byzantine uh, general. He's just standing here. He's also a um, shock unit, so he's got no uh, art. He's got no shield. So we're just going to shoot him. And there you go. Already losing three men. He's already lo he's losing them by the second. So I think there's like four units of crossbows just focusing down. It's like these two, uh, this one, and I think even this one. And they're all just shooting this general. And we were like, right, they're going to play cheesy. Uh, we're going to play cheesy. And we're going to shoot this. We're going to general snipe. Because we need it, <laughs> like, right now. We need a general snipe, because we're still outnumbered. They still have a lot of ammo. I think that mortar still has ammo somewhere. Actually, no, it's just run out. But they still have all those Savarans back there. They could just go back to shooting us, but... I mean, they've been doing this to us. They've been shooting our our stuff. And they were trying to go for a general snipe with Trier, so... Well, clearly uh, Nicaea has not seen this, this happening. Because he's not moved it. And, yeah, it looks like they're going to die. They're already down to... What are they down to? Let's look at the hood on 50. Wow. We've been looking at them for maybe, like, a matter of minutes. Not even that. And, yeah, this, it's wavering already. Wow. Yeah, and the enemy general's dead. The general is dead. There you go. So that's huge. Let's put the balance power ever so slightly back in our favor. And we are closing the gap. It is about 200 difference now, or 150 difference. Um, so these crossbows are starting to really do some work. And, I mean, look at that. It's already quite a lot of breaking now for Byzantium. Or Nicaea. Um, and there's also breaking over here by uh, the Quasmarians. They sent in the elephants! Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. We missed this. The elephants got sent in. I didn't even see it. No. But they all died. No. Well, most of them did. They got sent in and they all died to either, like, friendly fire or these pole arms. These pole arms are doing loads and loads of work. They're really, really helping. And this is just going to make it even harder to get up in now. Look at the devastation trying to get through. 
They're pushing the bodies of the elephants. They've got that many men trying to get through. But there is very, very little now holding these flanks, which is what they're trying to do. They're trying to break through and try and flank and get up to these archers, I have a feeling. Um, but the elephants are back. So we can have a... Oh, no. They thought about it, and then they thought no. But it's time to execute these elephants. Someone needs to kill them. Come on. Yeah, there's one. Shoot the other one. Was the other one going to get away? You tell them what happened here, war elephant. You tell them what happened here. That you got shot and the Byzantine general died. But it looks like more pole arms being sent up. They still got and some calves coming up here for some reason. But they seem to have still. Uh, I mean, I say that they are running out a lot of stuff quite quickly. Like they're pouring stuff into this choke point. They really don't need to. They shouldn't. Like this is just making a nice target for crossbows. I mean, this will hold forever. These pavis and the uh, pikes, they'll hold for a long time. This just isn't worth it. They really need us. Even though they needed to kill more stuff of ours that was down here. They really, it was that, I'm going to say it. That I think that pavis unit being here and sacrificing itself and laying all of that Trier stuff that was like over here. All these Elector knights and uh, heavy swords and like these ones getting back. That may have been a game changer. Because they're running out of a lot of stuff. We, would have lo we wouldn't have had a lot of this stuff that was inside because we were having to do a mass retreat. I would have had certainly had some swords. I would have had some of my pole arms. But they could have just shot it to pieces if they wanted to. And I'm sure they would have. They would have had pikes. We would have had the pikes as well, but they would have just shot it all to pieces. I'm surprised they haven't. I don't know where. Are there archers here? Where are um, Byzantium? Oh, they put them over here. That was, um, it's a great place to put them, but I mean, you need to support your own attack with archers. Like, these pavies really needed killing. Like, this will never get taken now, because there's no amount of men will stop all these pavies and all these pikes going through. You, that, that was what something that, even though I hated it, that he brought far too many archers, um, he, um, he at least was using them right, and, like, if he was going to win it. Like, he was sh using them to kill um, our pikes and Pavis and like making us pay for going and sitting in this choke point. But look at this, Byzantine's just having to force his way up. And these pikes having a field day, my Pavis aren't even getting near. But they are now because they're really trying to force their way through. But it looks like over here the cavalry, there was a cavalry charge. Uh, oh, it still, still is. There's a cavalry charge that try to get through and deal with these archers and it's just not happening. They've just like got themselves killed. That was a really, just such a waste. Um, cavalry. I did think, we did bring some cavalry, yes, but I mean, you usually bring your general as a cavalry unit. And they brought elephants as well, which, so they didn't really need to bring any anti-cav. Like, the elephants would have been enough, as for the Quasmarines, anyway. Um, they would have broken all out any cav that we sent out, plus some spears. And you probably don't even need to bring cav um, as, an uh, as an attacker. You could just bring an extra, like, instead of that cav, bring some more spears. Um... Like, they'll just be anti and you and just have them defending anything back there, like archers or artillery. And just carry on as normal with, like, everything else. Like, sending your swords up, sending your axes, send them over the walls. And then have a few spears um, to defend against any chance of a cav. And if there isn't any cav, you've got extra spears for the grind, like this. But, I mean, they are nearly through. They've got a gap here. They are nearly through. These pole arms are just about holding... We sent up some pavies. I think these are mine. They've been sent in. Uh, not sure actually. They might actually not be. Oh no, they're tr they're pavies crossbows. They're not even proper pavies spears. It's just crossbows that run out of ammo clearly and going in with their axes, chop these guys down. But it does look like it's going to be. Uh, they're going to run out of troops soon. And what do they got now? Their generals up here. Oh no. I mean, I've just looked, got archers here. These jet. This general needs to get out of here. Like, no, 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 oh. I'm trying to play neutral because I, I am playing as Flanders, but I mean, I so I loved watching this. But as a neutral now, this is painful to watch. Like, this general should not be here. There's Pavi's crossbows. There's just a lot of infantry. This is an infantry brawl, not a cavalry fight. Look, they're just getting killed as soon as they get to the front line so the general's very much in danger and he's gonna he's gonna try the same thing he's trying to cheesy tactic he's trying to pull through um, and attack these archers and it's a cheesy move and 
shouldn't really be doing it. It's, yeah, it's a big no. I, I don't like it. I think it's an unspoken total war thing. You just don't pull through formations. Like, that's a lot of infantry. Should not be pulling through. But, uh, yeah, the general's dying for it. He's at 13 men. And most of them are trapped back here. So, yeah, they're breaking. Um, so that's probably that's probably going to be the game now because both their generals are dead. So that he, uh, he can pay for uh, his decision to do that. But that's fine. It's a, a tactic he shouldn't have done, but he paid the price. But um, we're setting in some... I'm just setting in stuff now for the sake of it. There's not even, like, a need. Like, these crossbows up here. They, like... They've got a perfectly good view, like, down there. Look at all that. That's just easy to hit. Fire a, fire a volley. Volley, please. You're probably not even doing volleys. You're probably just firing at will. But, I mean, yeah, you can just see, like, all along this wall, like, all the bolts just coming down. It's ridiculous. There's a mass route there. Oh, a mass route for uh, the Quasmarians. They've, like, got... What have they got left? This is not even their stuff. This is mortars. There's a great... Oh, this, the Great Bombard actually did get into the battle. It did... I think it, I presume it was firing some stuff. Probably was. I'm not even sure. My general's now being mobilized. I was like, right, I'm going to go get my general some kills. Look at all these men that are running away. And then we're like, well, we'll just surround Byzantium. Or Nicaea. Um, whatever you want to call them. If you're a Latin Empire fan, you call them uh, Nicaea. If you're a Byzantine boy, these are still the Byzantines. Um, but yes. So we're... Uh, Probably going I mean, these guys haven't got a general either, so they're probably going to break. And they've got no archers now. So, and this is never going to break. Look, I, we, I sent pole arms in for no need. These guys were never needed. Like, yeah, there you go. A close victory. I mean, I don't know if it really was. We lost a lot of troops initially, but in the end, it just turned it. There's some bad decisions by the attackers. Um, I only lost two actual full units. The rest I kind of held on to. But... I mean, I did actually lose 600, and wow, Trier lost near about, only has 700 remaining, wow. So we'll quickly have a look at the end results. Um, so, I mean, my general got one kill, so his riding down didn't happen. But, I mean, this this is the um, pole arm unit got sent in, it got 184 kills, wow. My crossbow's getting a 379, and 216, and 178, and 149, wow, all of them doing insanely well. My cavalry didn't do so well, got only 22 kills, but it was killing the bombard off, which... May have been pretty handy. Um, the elephants only getting 42 kills. Wow, I thought they were going to massacre my Flemish knights. Clearly not. Um, and I thought they would have got some kills in the fight. But they really were kind of wasted. I'm not really sure what they was planning to do. But with them, certainly after we had like pole arms and pikes in the, fort, in the choke points. They were never going to get through. Um, we'll quickly have a look at Joe on its uh, results. He got 175 kills with his pikes. That was probably against Byzantium. They did insanely well. His crossbows also doing very, very well, bringing it, getting 245 kills and 153 kills. Um, and then that's kind of it. His cab did okay on 53, but I mean, most of his other stuff. And his, oh, he got 98 with this uh, dismounted Elector Knights, which they were in the choke point against the uh, Quasmarians um, from the start. Is it? Quas uh, Qu I don't know. That's just Quasmarines is how I'm saying it for now. Um, but yes, we'll have a look at them now. Um, played by Heroes of the Greeks. Um, who also has a channel. So I'll link his channel in the uh, description below as well. If you want to have a check out that. He got 113 kills with his uh, Savarians. They didn't actually get as many kills as I thought. They just caused a lot of problems. Um, which is annoying. His Mortar got 185 kills. It's insane. They were very, very annoying. Um, and his... Uh, pole arms getting like 85, uh, 81 kills and 65, pretty good. His cav getting 83 kills and his general getting 51, so not too bad. Um, I really thought these guys would have done better, but they were just, they were just scary. Like they were very, very scary. So maybe they're not too overpowered then. They don't seem to be looking at that, but I mean, certainly in the battle they seemed it. Seemed a lot more overpowered. Um, Microsoft PowerPoint playing as the Empire of Nicaea, getting 166 kills with his uh, heavy pole arms. Um, well, not his pole arms, but his heavy uh, heavy shock troops. And 131 with the other one. His spear is doing atrocious, to be honest. Not even, like, getting over 30 kills. Um, his sword's not doing so well either. You just bring a lot of elite stuff. Like, if you compare the size of armies, like, look at the size of that army in comparison to this one. Um, clearly went for quantity over quality. And uh, it kind of showed. I mean, here is the Greeks probably could have done with bringing more quantity, to be honest. More, like, stuff just to throw into the breach. 
Um, is Cav did okay actually? 123. Uh, yeah, 123 kills. One, two, three. Very nice, very satisfying. And that's kind of it. That's the only unit that really did insanely well. It's Bombard getting 57 kills. But yeah, most of his other stuff, like apart from his shock, didn't do so great. It's a bit of a shame. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this siege and want to see more 12-12 action, please do leave a like and subscribe. And go and check out the Discord if you want to take part in the poll. Um, and until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.